In this project, we're going to start adding cascading style sheets to our pages. There are three places where we can put styles. We can put styles in an outside page that we link to, we can put styles in the head section, or we can put styles in line with the actual style. So this is my sample page. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open it up. I've created a styles folder. I'm using index.html and I'm going to open it with Firefox. Now, if you look at mine on the web server or on, if you check it on your own in Firefox, you can view the page source, and if there are any errors, they'll show up red. So you can go out and look at my code. Now, I don't want you copying and pasting my code, but it is handy for you to be able to look at my code. So you're going to create a page that has meets all of these requirements. You're going to have answer these questions. You're going to have three levels of headings, so probably an H1, H2, and H3. Three paragraphs, a background color, two different fonts, two different text colors, two different text alignments, and two different specific font sizes which you'll apply to the headings. So where we're meeting those requirements here, how we do this is so the body gets the background style and I've set a default font family to Verdana Geneva Sans Serif that you can just have a font family of Sans Serif and that'll work here and for your error H1 style you can just do serif. Those are built in and will come up automatically. In Visual Studio Code, it gives you a list here of different available fonts. So you can just pick whichever font you'd like. And then if I refresh this, you can see it's slightly changed my heading fonts. I think that was the one I changed. Now that's just the default font. So it slightly changed these fonts here, the paragraph fonts. So that's how you add the fonts. So Visual Studio Code is very helpful of let, in letting you see this. So for each style you can add different font families, you can add different colors, and you can do a text alignment. Here my text alignment is left, and you can do left or right or center. So I have left aligned and I have centered. You could do right aligned if you wanted to. So this meets all the minimum technical requirements, but you should go a little bit further and answer all of these questions. The only one that this doesn't share is the photo, and to do that, you can look at the one that we did in our first assignment. So make sure that you cover all of the requirements, upload it to the server, and hand in your web address.